In this video, we're talking about how to solve basic multivariable equations. And the equation we've been given is 6y minus x plus z is equal to 4. And we've been asked to solve for each one of the variables in the equation. So we're going to need to solve for x, for y, and for z. So let's look at this first example here where we solve for x. This is going to be the same process as solving a single variable equation. We just need to get this variable on its own side of the equation all by itself and move everything else to the other side. So we see our x right here, and what we want to do is get it by itself. So the first thing we can say is we're going to subtract 6y from both sides. Remember, anything we do to one side of the equation, we always have to do to the other side of the equation. That's called balancing equations or keeping the equation balanced. So we're going to have to subtract 6y from both sides. We're also going to have to subtract z from both sides because we have a positive z here. So we're going to subtract z from both sides and subtract z from both sides. On the left, we'll get positive 6y and negative 6y to cancel. We'll get positive z and negative z to cancel, leaving us with just negative x. We'll have negative x on the left. On the right, we'll have 4 minus 6y minus z. Now we've got x by itself, but it's multiplied by a negative 1. We have negative x, and we just want to solve for x. So that means we want to multiply both sides of the equation by negative 1. When we do that, we'll get negative 1 times a negative x. Those negative signs will cancel, leaving us with just x. And then on the right, multiplying negative 1 by all three of these terms for negative 6y and negative z, well, whenever we multiply by a negative 1, really all we're doing is flipping the sign on each term. So positive 4 becomes negative 4, negative 6y becomes positive 6y, and negative z becomes positive z. And now we've solved for x. Let's look at solving for y here. The same equation, here's our y, we need to get it by itself. So in order to do that, we want to add x and subtract z from both sides, add x and subtract z, because that way we'll get negative x and positive x to cancel, and positive z and negative z to cancel, leaving us with only 6y on the left-hand side. And we're trying to get y by itself, so on the right-hand side then we have 4 plus x minus z. Now we still need to solve for y by dividing both sides of the equation by 6. So we get 6 to cancel from the numerator and denominator. 6 over 6 is 1. 1 times y is just y. So leaving us with y on the left and then 4 plus x minus z all divided by 6 on the right. So we solve for y, now we just need to solve for z. We have z over here on the left-hand side. We need to get rid of the y term and the x term, so we'll go ahead and subtract 6y and add x to both sides, subtract 6y and add x. We'll get positive 6y and negative 6y and negative x and positive x to cancel, leaving us with just z on the left. And on the right-hand side, we end up with 4 minus 6y plus x. And because we have z by itself, we've solved for z, and that's how you solve multivariable equations.